so today we have a Salvation Army haul. I want to say that this is going to be uploaded ahead of some of the other hauls and things that we've gotten just because this will be really quick to edit and stuff. But there are other things you guys can't expect. There's a lot of videos in progress right now. Um, we had so much. This is the time of year we get a lot of new stuff. So there's a lot more coming. I know it looks like we're buying a lot right now, but that's because of the time of year it is. Yeah, and it's also backed up to, like, things are more spread out in a way in real life. But because of how long it's been taking me to get around to editing things. Because I also uploaded all those Disney videos. And there were other, like, more time sensitive things we wanted to get up sooner. So yeah, this is just a busy time of year. If you guys want to see a transformation of these dolls, I mean, I can film it for you or I can just throw it in Dolly Diaries, but I do have a transformation video in the works already. You guys just didn't see the haul of that because we chose not to film it because it was literally, you're gonna love it, it's the dirtiest doll <laughs> haul. Except, like, maybe one other. I, I honestly think this takes the cake. It was, um, like, biohazardous. It honestly was biohazardous, which is why um, we're only doing a transformation. There was no haul because the stuff was so raunchy that we couldn't put the dolls out for oh, a photo. They weren't even we inventoried and identified. Like They, they just went right yeah, to the top. They were soaking in bleach. That's how bad they were. Yes. So, you're going to love it. <laughs> and Sneak preview! I also have a tutorial on how to deal with mold. So that's a hint of what made them so bad. So yeah, the lots of good things coming. There's gonna be um, two American Girl Hall videos because we have some members of the family. So there's lots of exciting things coming. We have like an episode of Dolly Diaries that I just need to like wrap up and all kinds of things. So today we weren't gonna stop the Salvation Army originally because it's been really sucky the past few months because they were rearranging the store, as we, we learned today. Um, but we were thinking of visiting our aunt who recently had surgery, so we've been popping by once a week. But um, my phone was dead, so I wanted to call her first. I needed to charge on the Jeep before I could even call her. So we drove to the Salvation Army, went in, and then afterwards I used the phone on the charger to try to call her. Yes. So that's why we went today and we actually struck gold and I guess these dolls just got there. Yes, yesterday. according to the cashier, she's like, Oh, you did really good. They came in last night and she was really nice. So um we'll start with the box dolls. So, um usually I see box dolls and they're once in a while and they're always on the cheap side, like less than ten dollars. These two were both six dollars each and Everything was as marked today. Sometimes we had a cashier that like, I don't know, she like automatically gives you a discount. So this is 2001 Western Chic Barbie and she's been opened like, and normally this isn't the kind of doll I would go for, but something about her really beckoned me. I think her and our other box doll um, came, from the same came like from the same home, so it's nice to keep I didn't together. even know they made this Barbie. I'm sure she's in one of my collector books, but I don't, I don't, I like collector dolls, but I tend to get more into the ones I see at stores. Oh, and then this one's really cool. This is Reba McIntyre Barbie. I didn't know they made her. I have Martina McBride. I and just they're not from the same series because this doll's five years newer than yes. Martina. So we love collecting celebrity dolls. She is really beautiful. She doesn't look like Reba. The hair does, but the face does. She's like not smiley enough to be Reba. She's not smiley enough. But yeah, I love her. She's really awesome and she'll go great with my collection. I want me and Rhymes. And now we'll get on to a new stall. These are my real favorites. So we should start with the rest of them. So this is Frozen Kristoff and Anna! I think they were from a two pack. It's a shame. I have wanted to find a Kristoff doll. Molded booty. Since, um, since like we watched the movie because I just have Kristoff. Like, I don't know, we have Kristoff. I want to find Hans. I don't remember what I have. Yeah, you vouched for Tony. He's right behind there. Uh, yeah, he's like right behind But him, um, it's person. like I technically my first Frozen dolls were Kristoff and Anna. Anna. <laughs> <laughs> from a two pack. We just did the video. Oh my god, I'm a you bad person. You've already stuff before. If you don't edit that out of the video, I'm gonna look bad. It's okay. Sometimes there's a moment of wait, I have that. Not because you really forget, but because in the excitement. Uh, yeah. I'm like, oh, it's a frozen crystal. Okay. Then we have. This is Emoji Claudine. She's awesome. We have okay. the Laguna, who we rescued from the same Salvation Army. I love the pink in her hair. I love that she sews her hat. I love her little shoes. She's amazing. 
Yeah, she's like new. She has a nylon here, I can tell. Then we have um, Bright's Camera Action Viperine. So she has cut hair. Now, she was only, these were only a dollar each, the loose dolls. So I thought I'd buy her because even if her haircut wasn't salvageable, I could use her as like a body donor and have her outfit. But the way it's cut, it's like a little bob and I fixed up a lot of haircuts like this in the past. So I'm, I'm gonna say I'm like 99% sure I can save her. And I remember when this line came out, I was kind of conflicted because I thought, well, they keep introducing new characters. But then at the same time, I was like, but that's still really cool. Um, we've been wanting her for a while. Yeah, I'm really, I watch a lot of doll commercials on YouTube and I am addicted to this particular commercial. I want a Lissa Bat because of the commercial. Mm -hmm. Like, I've always wanted a Lissa Bat for the commercial. And last but oh. not least. Definitely not least. Is Great Scarier Reef of Perry and Pearl. Woohoo! Um, they have all their limbs. I made sure to check because you can't buy parts from Mattel right now. I bought these at the flea market a few years ago, but the people, we got a lot of Monster High dolls from this, th these two sellers. Um, they're like an elderly couple and they always sell us things, but they wanted six dollars and at the time these were still in stores, so. So we were like, it's they, they a could, lot of money. They could go on sale um, and be like close to that price because I've gotten four dollar Monster Highs at the store before, back when they were in stores. So. They're really awesome. I love the Great Scarier Reef line. Honestly, I thought that this was a bit much when it came out. Um, it's like Avia Trotter. We were both kind of like, ooh, that's like verging on not doll. It's but funny, we got her in the same store. You fall down the rabbit hole and you don't Suddenly know. they seem like this great uh, idea. And I get a lot of questions on my Monster High video. I mean, it's probably not from regular viewers, but from people who really only watch my collection videos. We are going to update it in the fall. But there's like no point in updating really any of the collection videos until the fall when we're not getting stuff pretty frequently. So I do plan to update this one because I want to. I have, I want to say like 40 Monster High dolls that weren't in that video. And those were pretty much all like in the wild Monster High. Because, I mean, I didn't really get many at the store since I filmed that because they have been out of the store for a while. So I will be doing that. We did the Disney videos purely because we were dusting and people have been asking me to update. But I don't want you guys to get bored and feel like they're redundant because, like, I only add so many dolls to a collection. And I don't want to, <laughs> like, the story with the old dolls isn't going to change that much. And people already say I talk too much as it is, so... <laughs> uh, yeah, so let me know if you want to see a transformation video, and um, until next time, love your dolls, love yourself, and love your life.